Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Master 2, The Legend of Skull Keep. This is episode 10 and the first of the second season, uh, or the second part of the game. So uh, we're ready to explore Skull Keep proper. I've done some shopping, okay, some inventory management. Um, and some grinding, obviously. <laughs> uh, I sold uh, quite a few taxes. So, uh, Kletus now has uh, dual, is dual wielding Vorexes. Toram has good old Eximir and the Vorpal Blade. Um, Kletus also has full light and shadow armor, although as full fire plate and well we already knew Oram and Sari have Mithral Chainmail armor. Okay, so it's time to go to explore the keep. Which, as I mentioned, it is the second and juiciest part of the game. Okay, also, from here on, my memory is quite leaky. By that, I mean, uh, last time I played it, I played this game in 2018, uh, I stopped here. Okay, so I remember s something from when I finished the game last, 1997, 1998, more or less. So I have some flashbacks, you could call it. Okay, um, also it's, I might be, worth a save, okay? Because from here on things are very interesting. So, okay, as you can see, this room is full of holes. If you take out the Tempest, this is a Tempest, okay? There's a hole here, okay? Uh, so you might fall down. And down... Okay, so, let's see. I think if you toss it... Yeah, okay. So you can come here and pick it up, okay? Now I saved, so let's see what's down there. Oh, oh, these are bad. These are very bad. These are bad and they they got me, they got me good. These are highly poisonous. You have Kletus got poison. Kletus, can you can you brew yourself an anti anti venom potion? What about the rest? The rest is good. Okay. Oh, I really I really like this music. Uh, now this is something I I'd expect finding in Lands of Lore one. Okay. Here we can take Tempest back. So Tempest itself is basically on par with the Vorpal Blade. They pretty much they they do the same. It has a jab and a chop attack. I don't. I should uh, check the wiki uh, to see how much damage this deal. If chop is better than cleave, I'll keep the warper blade just in case we find some nasty enemies. And here we are, first floor of the keep. Oh yes, I remember them. These are, I don't know, like 
goblins, gremlins. Okay, so uh, like dark monks, something like that. So initial they're not hostile. Okay, I'm going to save here. They're not hostile, all right. Um, but they. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, this is. I remember. Okay, that's the cauldron. Okay, as you can see, they're not attacking us. Okay. They're not ultra hostile. You can even approach the cauldron. Uh, I think there's a recipe. Okay, here. There's a scroll. If you read it, snake stuff, one mana blossom, and one stuff, and you get something. Okay, this is a this is a recipe. Also, uh, here we have. Okay, we have the stuff. Okay, this is a meteor metal. Meteor metal. Is it timed? No, they're all style now. I touched their things. And here we go. Okay, so the normal ones are not a, really a pain. They're cheap with the funky stuff is really a problem. Also, better. they go down easily. And there it is. They are not to be underestimated. Okay, also, I I know I shouldn't be taking anything. Problem is, um, in order to leave, we need that stuff. Sorry, it's the, this stuff here. We need it. Okay, because it's the key to open the door over here. This door here. Unless... Okay. Also, this is their inner sanctum. If you get inside the Turno style... So... Now, as you, as you could see before... Uh, okay, this one is already tired of our presence. Um... Why do the dirty job, dirty work ourselves if we can have? Can I open it? I have a feeling we locked ourselves out. Okay, so, uh, Sari, you really need healing as... No, I'm really happy to station here. Um, in case you were wondering, I stopped by the, by the gate and I think it's a time gate, or they close it when they turn hostile, so we took quite a beating for that. Uh, it, will be, it will be easier, certainly, to reload the saving, but... So... Yep. Uh, okay. Oh no, too, too tough. Oh, they can move them. Oh no.
Let's see if we can soften them up a little. Sorry, how come you're not healing properly? Hello? All right, uh, we could use some light. Rain. Uh, actually, they are rather weak against physical attacks. Okay. Probably is their magic is lethal, to the least. Okay. Oh, especially him. Him or her, it. I, I confess, I never investigated <laughs> the true nature of the leader. Okay, we really need some healing. Sari, can you help us? Okay, so there are still a bunch of them. Uh, see, they're not coming. Okay. Oh, come on, Gladius. Don't miss your berserk attack. Okay, I think it's just their leader. Okay. Well, it's much more manageable. There it is. Excellent. Okay. Newman stuff. This is this is good. What we need, sorry. It increases Maximum mana by 40. Yes. And also has a special power. Um, so it has these. I don't recall what spell it is. This is a fireball. However, it shoots three fireball at once. Okay. Then uh, when it runs out of power, you can dip it in the cauldron. Okay. And uh, yes, it's, it's recharged. Okay, so uh, okay, there it is. Now it's open because I'm carrying the stuff. 
All right, so I'd say it should be a good idea to save. Okay, still not calling it a day. So, uh, we have this meteor metal, which is it is a weapon, but very poor one. Okay, we put it on here, and we have a staff. Okay, um. Now, reading the scroll, it says snake staff. So, to make a snake staff, um, one mana blossom and one staff. Okay. Here we have a red gem and a gold coin. So, here we have mana blossom and a spirit cap. Weird. Okay. So, uh, stuff and mana blossom and spirit cap and meteor sword, right? Meteor blade, edge, whatever. Uh, one mana blossom, one stuff. Okay, so if you take the stuff and the mana blossom and you put it in the cauldron. Aha, uh -huh. we have a serpent staff. Okay, and you can do it, uh, I think, virtually, well, not unlimited times until you have, until you run the staves. Okay, because mana blossoms oh, well. you can get an, uh, an unlimited supply, but serpent staff, okay, we can get, give it to Sari, so she has two stuff. Um, this is an aura, this is another aura thing, and this is um, damage incorporeal creature, if I correctly. Okay, so Sari is not going to attack in melee combat, but it's not a problem. Let's see, however, later on. How so, uh, we're left with a spirit cap, meteor metal, a red gem, and a gold coin. Okay, so. Also, we have an apple and a potion. I, I don't know about the apple and the potion. This one, one of the um, great mysteries of Dungeon Master 2. Uh, what can you craft with the with the cauldron? Okay, you know the serpent stuff. Uh, that if you take all the things you collect in the same room once you have crafted the serpent stuff. So we have spirit cap. We have the meteor metal, a gold coin, and a red gem. And you get. Blue steel, yes. Blue steel is a fantastic weapon. Um, I think it's the well, it's certainly the sword with the highest raw attack power. Um, and it's very good. Uh, Vorex is, is better, however, it weights a ton. Vorex is 6.5 kilograms, uh, Blue Seal is not even 4. Okay, so that's pretty good. I have a Vorpa Sword and a Tempest that I'm not doing anything with. And what happened to the, the stuff, the, the, the goodies we put inside the cauldron? Uh, uh, well, and here's the secret. Okay, they are actually teleported to a reachable area. Uh, I think in the in the grove, uh, in the area between, I think this, I could between the second and third um, clan keepies, or the third and fourth. I don't recall. Anyway, it's there, so you could actually go go there, retrieve the the items, come back here, and get another blue steel. So you can get um, unlimited blue steel weapons. 
which is something. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But okay, so okay. Okay. Now when I see this kind of corridors, I always think of something nasty so I could put something on it something heavy uh, Tempest too much you're carrying too much okay uh, yes there's I don't think there's there's a way we can get there uh, maybe with the minion map also we got a new map right was it the minion map? I think so. Okay, so... Ah, this is the minion map. This minion map. Okay. So... was to extract my carrier minion to grab the sword and drop it on top of the button okay all right now I vaguely remember this part as being painful so I think I'll stop here for today we made some good progress I'm quite happy with that uh, so yes, next time we'll keep exploring this floor. I remember the situation is going to turn explosive very quickly. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. And I hope to see you again next time with Dungeon Master 2 The Legend of Skull Cape. Until then, take care and goodbye.